Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're back with Final Fantasy 15, and things are going quite fast. I didn't think we were gonna go this fast. Well, actually, considering to finish the game and then do all the side quests and everything else, I hope I will be able to return what I wanted to return because at the moment it does not look like I can go. Yeah, it's just these areas. I'm here, I came from the. I came from the train, it goes through here, and it goes through here, and it goes to here. Who didn't still learn magic? Oh, well, yes. I needed. Just was 333. Wait, why I can't? Pronto, Ignis. I don't know who goes. That's me, but I don't have enough. Um, Oh, 99. I don't know, I'm just spending. At this point, I'm just spending. That's all I do. Go back. Reboard train. So civilian's gonna be gone, and if the train gets ruined, destroyed, it's not a big of a deal. Let's go. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. Okay. Let's go back to train. And by the way, you have a cool ship. Nice coloring. And try not to die, please. You sell it. You know, a lot of money. Money. There's nothing really that he has that I would need. This guy neither. Wait, does anybody actually sell any food? I actually eat. Oh look! A secret vendor. Blood sword, scene, thunderbolt, Waveland, delta, flame gun, hero shield, and Oracle card mist. Dead place. Mildly. E. I don't think I can look in this ship. No, this ship is just because everything closed in it. Okay, that is it. And. Are there, everyone? You take care of the people. And I'll be taking care of the assholes. Oh, what we can do. Prince Noctis! Yes, yeah. little lady! Prince Noctis, were, were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. 
At first, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. Nice. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. Hmm, too much emotional shit. I'm bad with emotional stuff. Flesh for fire, I don't know what it, what it means. So these are the good Imperial Guards, I think. I listened to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. Our house is gone. Really help me about it, do you? It sounds like the lab in Grawley is a real mess. <laughs> Don't cry, everything's gonna be fine. Oh, you. Reflex enhancer. Uh, yeah, so they're crying about her. Okay, yeah. Well, I, I can't say everything in the reverb. She's, she's, she's dead. And from one instance, she was already dying for a while. It's a shame. I, I didn't know. She seemed just fine. And then did get to find out that she was already. I mean, she had. Flesh was rotting away already. Like a phoenix, that's gonna help. Well, I don't think I'll need any more. As, you know, what I have, I think it's gonna be already enough. But it's fine. It's good to have all the extras. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Yeah, we can Guiding go. Cars open, if you need a break. Guys, let's just, let's just go. Shall we shove off? Yes. Climb aboard. Let's go. Let's go, chaps. Never ends. It never ends, guys. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. Oh. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Aranea. We'll see you around. It's snowing. It's snowing. Get your ass on board. Yes, sir. You take care of yourself, too. And thank you for all your help. I could say I couldn't have done it without you. There was a rift, a frozen ravine who had fallen. She relies on sultry. Road, Bob through its unforgiving cold no scope. Bigs and wedge dri driving the train makes slow and steady way towards the Imperial capital. That's something that reminds me actually. Was it uh, the movie Snowpiercer? There's a part of the series as well about it. This is going to be interesting. Always takes a little time to just load. 
Let me load a lot quicker though on PlayStation 5 than PlayStation 4 Pro. I can't imagine how slow it would be on PlayStation 4 or Slim. Okay, you do Look that. All that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Fox is free to roam about. Okay. We're gonna go back and forward, but there's no. Wait. Is it. Okay, I was allowed just to sit here. I'm gonna just run fast through to the back and front to see if there are any collectibles. Like these. Because they said they. There's a big fight coming up, definitely. I look so. Rusted a bit, no idea what that's for. Okay, that's the end. Okay, now let's try the other side. I don't think I can enter the captain's cabin, so to speak. Captain's no uh, driver's cabin. Wrong bit. I think it would have moved faster than that, but well, this is the best this thing can do. An elixir. Well, these gladys is off my ass, finally. Yeah, there's a lot of snow. The money. The money. Yeah, there's a lot. They could have just removed. Yeah, we can't take an end to that. They could have just removed. And they would have moved a lot quicker. More steady. I mean, imagine one of the rear parts to get the attached. No, no. I mean, not, not the end wall. What's up? I saw one. Mega potion. Okay, that's good. Always a reason if you can roam free around. There has to be something. We'll stop exploring. Complete. Is it an Arctic crevice? It's getting very cold. Why are we stopping? No wonder what it could be this time. Attention, Adam. Yeah. What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped. And yeah. Of course, outside the fish. We'll take a look. Oh, out. I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. Uh, you could stay in because it's loud, probably from storm, uh, snowstorm. What the flying hell? It's freezing. I better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. <sighs> Damn, it's cold. Let's clean up out here and warm up in there. <sighs> better make this snappy. What are you? Didn't mean 
mean to... Ooh, stupid goblins. Oh wait, I should have... Should have tried Ignis. Oh no, I, I still can't. Just the thing. Thank you, Ignis. Really hope you regain your eyesight. A cool guy. Just fight it. Just, I just shit out of it. A few more seconds. The hell was that? What the hell is that move? Don't care, you are about to be dead anyway. Again, Ignis. Ignis, you did well. You did really well. Thank you very much. That's huge help. Anybody else? Do you want to send anybody else on my side? I don't know why. Hey, knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on, there in a sack. Right. No way. You hold it. Oh, that son of a bitch. That's what she says. The hell? Again. Playing the stupid mind games. They've fallen and they can't get up. Why not lend them a hand? <laughs> a coldness that can only be hers. Wow. 
Don't need to fight. Don't need to do anything. For want, ask about tales of the past, ask about the hopes of the future, ask nothing. I'll ask everything. I know. The six have safeguarded this star since time immemorial. Each six gods, right? Mind, but united by this common purpose. The gods' protection extends to all creatures here below, even to the mortals created in their image. They are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies. The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyreburner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frostbearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who bless them, the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the Pyreburner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the Six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm, and, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the Pyreburner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins. Their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. Me. No, no, it's He may see it to its conclusion. Ask about the hopes for the future. Yes, tell me all your. Uh, tell In the me everything you know. That follow the war while the six are still asleep. The Pyreburner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the Frostbearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the Six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. That's what Luna thoughts. Yeah. Have a conversation, talk a little bit, and then... begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. He's worried for her. But it's my choice. If only... If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. 
I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears in mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may, it is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. Hmm. Thus it is promised between yeah. the oracle and her friend. Oh, she's very much in love with him. He's with her. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. And so the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for your blessing. O King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Oh, well, I shall try. I'll do my best. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now... I'll never have the chance. I'm so sorry. That's just mean. Oh. Kinda, I don't know. <sighs> Things like these make me very emotional and it just die, makes me cry. <laughs> and I don't know how to normal cry or ugly cry. <laughs> I'm an emotional person. Well, what can I? I won't let you down. I know you won't. How? Well, yeah, when you die. I wonder if you're gonna die at the end of the game too. The King of Kings. Oh no, you can't. What are you looking at? Wake up, assholes. What happened? No. Are you alright? Yeah. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. I can't understand if just too much emotional or physical pain. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you next time in another video. Don't do this super. I bid you farewell. Please consider subscribing to this channel. That'll be really, really, really appreciated. Bye bye.